Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. We're in Bryan, Texas and check out where we're at. We're at the Herp Shop. That means they have all kinds of really cool exotic animals and reptiles and all kinds of stuff. Do you guys like looking at turtles, snakes, lizards, chinchillas, and maybe even a wallaby? They have it all right in here. Come on, let's go check it out. Wow, this is gonna be a whole lot of fun. Like I said, they have all kinds of critters in here and they can teach you about all these animals too because it's important. We don't just get pets, we have to care for them and love them and make sure they're healthy and happy. Wow, look at this. When you first walk in the door right here, there's a panther chameleon right there. Look at him. He is really cool. Come look at him from over here. He's showing off. Whoa, did you see that? He just stuck his tongue out. He was getting a little snack. The cool thing about chameleons is their eyes can turn in any direction and that helps them find food and watch for prey. Here's another panther chameleon. He's really cool. And then this guy right here, he was recently just featured on the cover of a magazine. He's famous. He's got beautiful coloring and he's a really unique animal. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know where to look. So right over here, they have all these different kinds of rodents. These are, this right here is called a daegu. Look at that. He's just hanging out, taking a little midday nap. Oh, he says, hey, Cowboy Jack, what's going on? You woke me up, leave me alone. <laughs> then look at this guy, he's just trying to get a little stretch. It's important to stretch. That's another Daegu. It's called a sand pie, and that's a female right there. They have all kinds of different critters. All right, guys, well, like I said, they even have a wallaby here. This little guy's name is Grant, and he's playing with some keys right now. What's going on, Grant? You like those keys, buddy? He really likes his belly scratched right here. Can you step up and say hi to everybody? <laughs> so he kind of looks like a kangaroo, but wallabies are a lot smaller. He sure can hop around real fast, though. Can you show us how you can hop? Well, you don't have to. I don't want you to have to show off. You really like these keys? They're pretty cool. Oh, you give me a high five? See, look at that. He's got really big paws. Can I just look at your paws? And he's got these big nails. He's just kind of sniffing me and checking me out. What's up, buddy? This is like a high five from a wallaby. I've never had a high five from a wallaby before. His name is Grant and he lives here. Well, he actually goes home with the owner, <laughs> but he comes here so you can come here and interact with him because he's a really fun guy. He's got this great soft fur and what an amazing temperament. He's just kind of like a puppy dog. You can hang out with him. He likes to show off. He likes his keys, obviously. <laughs> you like to smell Cowboy Jack? Hey, don't bite my shirt. <laughs> He's got these really big back legs. I wish he'd stretch for us so we could take a look at him. Come here, buddy. Come here. Look at that. <laughs> like a big old puppy dog and see he's standing on his back legs right there you know smell me <laughs> very unique character this grant is and he's got a really long tail too come here buddy come here come here come on There he goes, look at him hopping. All 
All right, guys, this is actually a baby chinchilla. Well, he's not a baby, but he's very, very young. Chinchillas have this incredibly soft fur and this really cool bushy tail. Look how bushy his tail is. I think it's fantastic, but his hair, I just can't get over how soft it is. This guy was actually born here at the shop. He's got a brother and his mom and dad, his dad is actually right here. He looks like he's taking a nap right now. He, he said, these young whippersnappers keep me up all night. I just love this guy. You know what's really unique about these is that they're actually from a mountain environment and they don't take a normal bath. What they call it is an ash bath. They use volcanic ash and they kind of splash around in it to keep clean. I wonder, hey, would you show us what it's like to take an ash bath? There he goes. Whoa, he's rolling all around in that all volcanic ash. And that's like how they get themselves clean. He looks like he's having a good time with it. <laughs> kind of like a puppy dog playing in the mud, except it's ash. <laughs> hey buddy, you changed colors. You're all color, you're all white now. Ooh, there it goes. Get that all over you. See, and that's actually how they get clean. They roll around in that. That seems different because we use soap and water, but this guy uses this ash. <laughs> you feeling clean already? There you go. Sorry, I didn't mean to mess up your bath. <laughs> wow, guys. So we saw those young chinchillas, but this is actually a baby. He's about two days old, was born right here at the shop. Really teeny tiny, but he'll grow to be big and fluffy just like those others. He is really unique. I just love hanging out with him. He's so teeny tiny, he's barely even got his eyes open. I better get him back with his mama. <laughs> All right, well, here we are with a bunch of different tortoises. So this guy right here, these two guys are pretty young, but these are actually the second largest tortoise uh, family in the world. So these guys will actually grow to be, I mean, come look at this. I'm standing on this big mat. They'll grow to be almost 700 pounds and half the size of this mat. So like from me guys to you, that's huge. That's a gigantic tortoise. And like I said, these guys are just young. They're little. They're not anywhere close to full grown, but they're really cool and they make fantastic pets. They live a really long time. See, I'm scratching him and he's standing up and I'm like, oh, hi, Cowboy Jack, thanks for the rub. This right here is Louise and she's a red-footed tortoise. She is really cool and she's actually full grown. She's not gonna get any bigger than this. She's really sweet, good old Louise. And over here we have Oliver. Oliver is an, uh, another one of those other turtles and he's pretty big. He's gonna get to be almost 250 pounds when he's full grown, so he'll be pretty big. He's already pretty big. Wow, what's up, Oliver? You having a good day, buddy? These guys right here are Russian tortoises. Well, only one of them is out right now. There's another one back here in her little cave area, but these are Russian tortoises, and they're full grown. Their names are cheese and crackers. Isn't that cool? They're really personable critters like to hang out with people. Hey, Cheese, come over here. Well, I hear Cracker rolling around back in there. <laughs> All right, well, those tortoises are really cool. I saw something very unique right here by the door. Look at this right here. These guys are incredible. And you know what's very unique about them is that they're actually you know, the, the species is threatened and, and they're not doing so well. There's actually more of them in captivity than there are in the wild. I forget exactly what they're called, but they're from Mexico. All right, now this is the front of the shop, like where you would pay and check out and buy your items, but they actually have some really cool animals right here in the case of it, right underneath. Right, right. See, as you can see, she's sunning on the rocks and there's one more in here, but they actually think that she's down in her cave area 
and actually sitting on some eggs because she's going to have some babies. Isn't that really cool? We can keep exploring and looking all around. Whoa. Now, Cowboy Jack getting really that comfortable with spiders, but look at that really giant green bottle blue tarantula right there. She's made this really unique web. I don't understand the purpose of that web, but she's really worked hard on it. And it's a very cool spider. I just, ooh, I don't like spiders very much, but they have a whole lot of them. Here's another one right here. Wow. What do we have in here? Oh, we're covered up in spiders. There's a curly hair tarantula, a pink toe tarantula right here. Oh my goodness. And tarantulas actually make really good pets. You just have to know how to care for them. And I don't know how to care for them. But right over here, they have all these different milk frogs and mossy frogs. You have to work really hard to find them because they like to hide themselves in there. Oh, here's a milk frog right there on that back leaf. You guys see that little milk frog right there? Might be a little bit hard to see, but he's in there just hanging out on a leaf and enjoying his day. Now, if you like snakes, we've come to the right place. Right here's a ball python named Hershey. And this snake is actually already 21 years old, a, a ripe old age. Wow, so this is a curly haired tarantula? That is so cool. So these make really good pets and they actually are very calm as long as you're calm with them. So you don't want to make any sudden movements while you're holding them. And they're going to just hang out with you and have a great time. So this is actually what they call a Goliath bird eater tarantula. And that's the largest species of tarantula in the world. And they are just so cool. What great, amazing, majestic animals. But I'm just not going to hold it. I don't think she wants to be held. But just for comparison's sake, I'm going to put my hand right here. And you can see she's almost as big as my whole hand. That is crazy. Wow. And there's all kinds of different things around here. Like these frogs. Let me see if I can find them. Oh, there he is right in this back corner right here. You can see that little guy back up there. And then there's even more tree frogs. Oh, this is a dumpy white snowflake tree frog. He's sitting in that dish just kind of hanging out being a frog. He doesn't really want to be seen, but he's right there for us. Oh, are you going to come out? I think he's just sitting up because he knows we're looking at him. Well, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Cowboy Jack. You're a dumpy white snowflake tree frog. Nice to meet you. <laughs> now this right here is amazing. I used to be fascinated by these. That is a bumblebee colored dart tree frog, like a poison dart frog. He is right there. He's really colorful, bright yellow and black. Great colors on him. Now look right here. This is incredible. I have always loved red ear slider turtles since I was a little boy. These are actually albino red ear sliders. You can see they have no pigment in their, in their skin or their shell. And these are actually bred in captivity because they're so very rare. But they're teeny tiny little guys, real turtles, and they're absolutely albino. And if you can look down here, there's a regular red ear slider right there. And he's swimming around. And see, normally they're green with that red patch on the side of their head. But those other guys are completely albino. So look right here, cowboys and cowgirls. This is my friend Basil. She's a bearded dragon. And she doesn't want to come out right now, but I just wanted to say hi to her. She likes to hang out in her log and just kind of do bearded dragon stuff. A lot of folks have bearded dragons as pets and they make fantastic pets, but like we talked about, reptiles are not, you know, your traditional type of pets. As long as you know how to care for them and know how to take care of them and feed them right and get them the proper environment they need, they can live a very long, happy life and be a fantastic animal and companion for you. Wow, snakes, ah, look at this guy right here. All right, guys, well, this is a boa constrictor and her colors are really beautiful. This is like the natural coloration of them. And see what she's doing is she's climbing all over Cowboy Jack. I don't know where her head is right now. Right here. See, and what she does is she's a really good climber. So that's why she's wrapped around my hand. She wants to check out the camera and say hi to you guys. 
what's going on kiddos <laughs> but she is really pretty and what an amazing snake but this is actually the same type of snake as this giant snake right here just a different coloration so when she gets a little bit older she may be that size too wow ah you're kind of squeezing my hand well, it's not just a clever name. They're called boa constrictors because they wrap themselves around so that they can uh, get their food. They're really beautiful animals. All right, guys. So this is actually a seven foot long reticulated python. She is beautiful, has this awesome yellow skin. And she's just checking out Cowboy Jack. She says, I've never met you before. Your leather vest is a little bit unique. But she is so pretty and she actually has the potential to grow to be about 20 feet long. Isn't that crazy? I mean, she's a really big snake right now, but like we said, she's only seven feet long. And once she gets to be 20 feet, I don't even know that I'd be able to hold her anymore. Wow. She's able to hold her neck out really far like that. This is so cool. <laughs> wow. One day I've never held a reticulated python. The next day I'm just hanging out with one, having a good time. All right, well, I'll let you back in your cage. You don't seem like you're having a great day with Cowboy Jack. What do you think, girl? Thanks for letting me hang out. This is another reticulated python, but it's just a normal coloration. So not gold like that other one. And this is a male. So he'll, be, he'll grow to be all the way as big as 15 feet. Not quite as big as that female, but wow, what a beautiful pattern and really cool colors. Um, females will get around three and a half, four feet long. Males can get up to five feet long. Black and white, blue and white mixed together make an ice, and then you add albino thin. That's what she is. Okay. Um, the blue, um, the purple albino. Um, there's red and white, and blue, uh, blue and white mix it purple, then you make your purple albino. Um, this is a red. Um, this one is a baby red. This is what you normally would see. Um, and that one right next to it is black and white. Those guys are more of a normal color. Okay. Um, more easier to find than these guys. These are crazy. They eat everything. And then they eat lots of meats. Um, they'll eat turkey, they'll eat beef, they'll eat chicken. Wow, so um, they're carnivores. They, but they also eat fruits, strawberries, blueberries, watermelon. Um, they eat mice, they'll eat bugs, they eat basically anything except for lettuce. Okay. They, I mean, that guy, his favorite thing is watermelon. Like, hands down, he Wow. So this is another Argentine tigu, and he really likes watermelon. I wonder if he spits out the seeds like I do. Probably not. <laughs> Looks like he's having a little afternoon sunbathing slash nap. Sounds like what I need to do right now, too. So check out this bearded dragon. He's just hanging out, kind of doing his thing. He's very active. He likes checking out my finger, and he's just really having a great day. So this one up here, she's partially blind. Oh, because so she's partially blind? It's because of the albinism, um, they can be like that. So if you see her, um, when I do give this to her, she'll like go uh, try to eat around it before she actually eats it. Okay, so what are you giving her right there? This is a frozen banana. Ooh, looks tasty. She's probably going to drop it a few times. She thinks everything is food. You're staying in. <laughs> she thinks everything is food, so she's eating my tongs and my... Not my fingers, because that hurt all. Ooh, very feisty girl. Guys, come look right here. She is really enjoying that frozen banana right there. And just like us, it's really good to eat bananas. They're full of potassium and great vitamins for you. Wow, check out this guy. He's being really active. He's thinking, hey, everybody else is getting fed. What about me? There's a lot of them in there. Are you trying to wave at us? Hi. 
He said, hey, I didn't, I didn't sign a waiver. Why am I on camera today? Well, you're a natural, buddy. That's why. <laughs> and those guys back there are just hanging out, taking in the sights and sounds, saying, hey, Cowboy Jack, nice to finally meet you. All right, buddy, well, I'll see you later. Stay cool. You want to give me a high five? Yeah. Nailed it. Um, press the when you have their tails, they can use them as a limb. Oh, wow. They can, they're very cool animals. He, you will just have to kind of go with them. Don't hold them too hard. And if he jumps, I'll keep my hand in there. Okay. Wow. So this crested gecko is really cool. And he's just, he likes to climb. So I have to make sure to give him something to climb on and support. I don't want to keep him out too long because he does have the potential to jump and I wouldn't want to let him do that. Come here, buddy. Wow, never seen a crested gecko before. He is really unique. Got these amazing little hands. Kind of looks like dog hands. But I better let him go back in his cage because he's, he's a little bit stressed out. He's thinking, Cowboy Jack, I've had enough of you. All right, well, crested gecko, nice to meet you. Whoa, see, he jumps just like that. This is a gargoyle gecko, so they can also lose their, use and lose their tails. Whoa, yeah, caught him. He's pretty jumpy as well. <laughs> wow. Um, they have the same kind of care as crested geckos, but they're a little bit more rare. They do not, uh, you don't see these as often because they're kind of hard to breed in captivity. Wow, look at his eyes. Those are really unique. Yeah. I know you want to hang out with Cowboy Jack, but you're coming a little bit close. What a unique critter. I don't want him to get too far. Him wow, look at that. Can you say hi to the camera? Whoa. <laughs> That is really cool, a gargoyle, gargoyle gecko. Whoa, quit trying to jump on me. The leather vest isn't going to work out for you too good. Um, she'll, you'll see her change colors a little bit, a little bit. Uh, to be more red, she usually is not this white. She was just sleeping, so I couldn't <laughs> care less what color she is when she's sleeping. Wow, that is really cool. And she's way bigger than this guy. This guy just wants, he probably stays small because he's so busy jumping around. Yeah, she's actually not, uh, she's still a baby as well. Wow, so this is, is this a full grown gopher snake? He's a baby. Wow, baby gopher snake. Very, very, he moves a lot. He does move a lot. Yeah, you're not getting away from me. Quit trying to squirm. Wow, you are a feisty gopher snake. Although this is the first gopher snake I've ever really held, so I don't have any point of reference. But he seems a little bit excited. I better put him back in his cage. Very nice to meet you, buddy. <laughs> They're usually not yellow. They're a brownish color. He's an albino speed type. He will get about, he's not full grown. He'll get about the size of a softball. Uh, and he is grumpy. Wow, so this grumpy Pac-Man frog like she said, we'll get to be about the size of a softball. That is so big. And they like to burrow down and wait for prey. They don't like to have to work for it. So they just kind of hang out down there. And when they get the opportunity, they'll pounce on something. But they're a really large frog. And like you said, Pac-Man frog. See, he's, he even looks a little bit grumpy, don't you guys think? And they do have teeth. Oh, wow. I didn't know frogs had teeth. Pac-Man. All right. Well, in that case, we better leave Pac-Man alone. All right, nice to meet you, Pac-Man. <laughs> wow, we've met a whole lot of different critters. This is crazy. Wow, guys, so that's a mossy frog right there. And if you can look at him, you can tell exactly why he's called a mossy frog. He kind of looks like a piece of moss, but he's actually a living, breathing thing. Wow, right up close and personal with the mossy frog. And even their eyes are camouflaged, if you can see that. You can barely even see where his eyeballs are, so he must be a really good predator. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, we've had such a great adventure here today at Herp Shop in Bryan, Texas. We learned all about exotic pets and how to care for them and how unique all these different species are. It's been a really educational and fun time. I even got to hang out with a wallaby. That's not something I came to Bryan, Texas and expected. So if you had a good time, make sure to click subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube. That way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. And until next time I see you, 